back here on James 6058. There's the broken drill bit living in there. Get in there, zoom in, zoom. Trying to do things one handed, it doesn't work very well. So it's in there. Discovered that when we discovered a broken bolt, which somebody failed miserably on prior. Um, we have a big cert kit for 3816, which I was starting that drill first to kind of make it so we have our pilot here ready to go. Then we'll go from there. So using the die grinder and the little itty bitty ball, because we know we have to put a big old time cert in there anyway, I'm actually able to get at the sides, you can see it, of the bit. So we're getting there. Maybe be able to push through that, break her up, and then drill, and we should be happy. It's getting it. All right, I was just grinding, and I actually saw that spinning a little bit. So we're gonna go in there, try to spin that baby out, and then once that's out, drill bit time. Gotcha, bitch. Problem solved. Look, we got ourselves a clean hole. Pretty sure it's been a long time since uh, a lot of people I know have said that or heard that. Tap is started. Going to get this baby in nice and square. Run it through, clean everything. Then we install our insert. Alright, so we've tapped and we've countersunk for our insert. See, there's a the countersink. Alright, time cert, big cert, way better than helicoil. So we've cleaned our hole for our big cert. Cleaned our actual big cert itself. And we're going to be putting a little thread lock on here. And run this baby in. Alright, went extra heavy on the schmutz. Just need to put my handle on that, run that baby down the rest of the way. Big cert. It's actually a GM starter bolt big surge because I figured it'd have a little more meat at the back side there and it gives us a little wiggle room. But we got it. Done deal. All right, so assembling the thermostat, the thermostat housing, we have our gasket, a little bit of silicone around because we don't want no leakies. And yes, I painted it the correct color. Everyone knows my rants of why the hell do you people paint these things Ford blue? Why the hell do you people paint these things Chrysler blue? Why do you not just spend five minutes and find the right paint? And the answer always is because the local parts store doesn't have it. Well, sometimes you have to not contact the local parts store and go outside. But, um, Seymour makes this paint. It's a spruce engine paint. Cadillac blue. Comes in a rattle can. You can buy it. Amazon. You can buy it. Actually, Walmart.com sometimes has it, too. But, uh, Pretty easy to find online. You just gotta know how to use your your face tubes and your your snatch chats or your insta tubes, or whatever the hell it is. Well, that was some hell, but the uh, pumps on, oil filter housings on with its lines back in place our steering pump generator are ready to have their hardware or their belts installed rather i'm getting tired oh, we were up early this morning anyway 
pulley, belt, fan, radiator. Done. All right. Next step, put our radiator in. Lower hose is already on the radiator, which is good. Pop that baby in, hook that up. And then I put my top hose on. All right, we are ready. Hoses are in, belt, fan, radiator. Ow, son of a bitch. Damn hood latch. Four gallons of coolant, well, pre-mix. We're ready to fire. Nothing running. 